Welcome back. We're just eight days away from the official start to spring, and the radar looks like this. We have pockets of heavy snow up in northern Iowa, especially near Spencer and Estherville. Storm Lake is seeing winds that are really packing a punch right now and dropping that visibility as well. We're just seeing some light snow in the Sioux City metro, but again, with the winds, it causes a problem with visibility. And this is kind of the pattern that we'll see through the rest of the night. Some light snow around the metro, not much going on in Nebraska, and then uh, that the heavier snow staying focused up north and east. That's where we have that winter uh, storm warning and the winter weather advisory. Uh, Esterville, Spencer included in the warnings, and then cities like Storm Lake, Cherokee, and Orange City are included in that advisory through the overnight for some heavy snow and blowing snow. So here's what we could expect. Let me step out of the way. Snow continues through the overnight. Blowing snow and low visibility still remains a concern. That snow ends by tomorrow morning, about mid-morning, with the highest impacts, again, staying north and east of Sioux City. As far as the metro goes, we'll probably see some slick driving conditions and then again some concerns with that uh, blowing and drifting snow. So we've already laid down a couple of inches, especially for areas north and east. Esterville has already gotten three inches. So as far as tonight goes, here's how much more we can add. About another three to six inches for those in the warnings, about uh, one to three more inches in the advisories for areas like Storm Lake. And then a, a coating less than an inch for the Sioux City Metro and then nothing for Nebraska. So this is how much more we'll see through the overnight hours. Temperatures at 39 degrees right now in Sioux City. Much colder up north and east where that snow is falling. Some uh, snowfall rates have been reported up to an inch an hour. So uh, very impressive up there. Wind chills up towards uh, Spencer and Esterville only in the single digits while Sioux City is doing all right in the 30s. And here, this is the culprit for the day. We have the winds that are staying sustained at 15 to 20 miles per hour, but we're seeing these gusts get up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. That's dropping visibility significantly, especially where it's snowing very heavy across the, the border over there, near zero visibility in Esterville, only a half a mile visibility in Spencer. So again, even where we're only seeing an inch of snow, it is dropping visibility uh, around the areas. We're at three miles visibility in Storm Lake. So again, we've kept the focus up towards the northern border for most of the heavy snow throughout the day today, and that's because this storm is tracking uh, where the low is centered here, and then it's pulling all of that heavy snow up to its north and east, which includes that Iowa-Minnesota border right there. So, again, here's that track. People are still shoveling eight days before the start of spring, especially for those in the yellow. We'll continue with the snow overnight, and we'll still have some blustery winds. We'll start to wrap up the snow by the morning. We'll all be dry by mid-morning, and then the afternoon will be cloudy and still windy. So here's what that looks like, staying with the heavy bands of snow through the overnight blustery winds uh, there again, especially for northwest Iowa. Then through the overnight, we're still staying with the snow, and by the morning commute, we'll likely see some snow linger, uh, especially for areas east, and then completely push east by the afternoon. The clouds stick around, and so do the blustery winds, so any of that powdery snow could still blow and drop visibility, even though it won't actually be snowing. We lose the winds by Tuesday, but then we bring in another round of snow. This one looks to be light and probably centered more on uh, South Dakota and Nebraska there for us. Um, really little snow accumulation with that on Tuesday. And then uh, by Wednesday, we keep the clouds and we start to go on to a warming trend that will have us in the 50s by Friday. So again, one more time, here's that snow forecast. About three to six more inches for communities like Esterville and Spencer. One to three inches towards Cherokee and Storm Lake and little to no more accumulation in Sioux City. 22 degrees tonight, snow and blustery, those gusts up to 35 miles per hour, again dropping visibility. 27 tomorrow with that snow in the morning, gusts to 30 miles per hour, so we could still see some more blowing snow. Then by Wednesday, we start to transition into a warmer pattern. 54 degrees on Thursday at breezy winds, but then we do have another front that comes by Friday, so we could have a rain snow mix on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks so much, Elise.